Hi, my little butterflies. Welcome back to my channel, Butterfly MUA. If you're new here, hi. I'm Mercedes on the face behind Butterfly MUA. If you are new, remember to hit that subscribe button. If you're not, welcome back. So today, I'm really excited. So I have two items from the Revolution and Shrek collection. So yeah, it came out a couple of weeks ago. I am a bit late to the party. Um, this actually arrived, like I ordered it kind of when it released, but I have been a bit busy and I will do a life update very soon, explaining what I've been up to. If you look at my Insta and my husband's Insta, you'll probably figure out already what's going on, but I'm so excited. So. I decided to go with the donkey stuff from Shrek because donkey was my favourite character. Um, when I was younger, like I remember my stepdad would have Shrek on the TV all the time, he loved it, he thought it was funny, it was brilliant, so it really reminds me of that sort of period in my life. Donkey was always the one that I thought was hilarious, he was like the best character for me. He's just ridiculously stupid and I love it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be testing these out today. I'm very intrigued to see what look I come up with. They are a bit more on the neutral side of things. Like if you went for some of the other stuff in the Shrek collection, they were a bit more out there colour story wise, whereas this is very neutral, very toned down. So yeah, let's dive into the palette because I'm itching to play with it. It's been on my side for so long that I'm now just like, I need to play with it. So this is, <laughs> this is the eyeshadow palette. I just looked because there's like the tiny little dragon on the back, which is obviously Donkey's girlfriend. <laughs> Love it. And then on the side, it has a little bit of writing, which says, and in the morning, I'm making waffles because donkey is amazing. Um, it's like even at like work, if we do something and like one of them will say, that'll do, I always have to be that one person that will go donkey. And it's really funny because they get really annoyed with me because they're of the generation of babe the pig of that'll do pig. And I'm of the generation of that'll do donkey. So yeah, absolutely love this packaging. So super cute. I quite like the fact that this is small. Um, I am very much under the impression at the moment that my personal preference has changed. I used to really like bigger eyeshadow palettes, the more colours I had in there, the happier I was. At the moment, I am really liking mini palettes or just smaller palettes. I I don't know whether it's because my hands really struggle to hold things at the moment properly. And I find like the smaller palettes are a lot easier to hold, a lot easier to grip hold of for me, maybe. Or maybe I'm just bored of the <laughs> redundancy in big packaging. Like if you have a big eyeshadow palette, you're gonna have a lot of redundancy. There's gonna be like 10 of the same shade. Whereas in a smaller packet, you're only going to get a few. So let's have a look inside. So you do get a full size mirror for the size of the packaging. And it says, and in the morning I'm making waffles again on the inside. The colour story though, I really like this. Now I'm not normally a neutral eyeshadow type of girl. I have noticed lately my preferences again have changed. Um, I'm definitely leaning into a more neutral, subtly pretty eye look. I used to be like the girl that would be like, bam, bright pinks, bright purples. And sometimes I do do that still. But I am finding nowadays I'm definitely leaning towards more of a neutral colour story. So, yeah. So, it actually has some really good names for the shades. Um, I'll see if I can... So we have Noble Steed, Waffles, On the Edge, Boulder, About Right, Me, Lady Dragon, and Sidekick. So I think all of these look 
really, really nice. I am gonna go ahead and quickly swatch them though. Okay, so this is the palette swatched. I do have to say the two lightest shades in the pan are very light, like they don't show up as well with swatches, but that doesn't mean they're not gonna work on the eye. I've had palettes before where they don't swatch well and then I make a creative, amazing eye look that I love. So I don't always go by how palettes swatch. The shimmer shades look absolutely beautiful. Um, this one here, Lady Dragon, it doesn't look like very much in the swatch. But I can tell it looks absolutely beautiful and I kind of want to just use that. Um, I know I can't. I need to make a look that looks coercive, creative. So... I think I'm just going to dive straight in and just go ahead and try and create an eye look. I have primed my eyes already, I use my P. Louise eye base and yeah I mean I don't even know what to use, they all look so pretty and like the matte shades at the top all have like the donkey imprint in them, the shimmer shades don't but they still look amazing and beautiful. So I think I'm going to go in with the first shade which is bolder and I'm just taking a normal fluffy brush and I'm just going to go here, round about my crease area. So straight off the bat I can see there is a bit of pigment but obviously it is not anything too in your face but it has laid something down ready for me to play with but like I said my preferences have definitely changed where I'm more into that subtly pretty eye look now Okay, I quite like that. Subtly pretty. Um, I might use the slightly darker brown shade, Noble Steed. It looks more cool toned, like these two look quite cool toned, those two look more warm toned. And I'm just going to apply it on the outer corner and blend into my crease. And then back in with the first one, bolder. It's quite pretty. I don't know how it's translating on camera, but in person, it looks quite nice. Um, I really want to use that lady dragon. <laughs> I don't know whether to, hmm, I might just apply it straight over, sometimes I'll put concealer on, but I think I'm just going to see if I can just apply it straight on and see how it looks. Um, I'm just using like a, a flat packer brush, let's see how it works, and whether I need to dampen it down or use a finger. might use my finger. No, brush. I might dampen it down. Like it's okay, but it doesn't apply the best. And although I want it to be subtly pretty, I still want it to show up. Okay, hope the camera angle has not moved too much. I had a phone call and obviously I film on my phone. So I had to quickly um, answer that and then I couldn't remember the right position. So sorry if the camera angle has changed. So I've dampened down my brush with a setting spray. 
I'm just going into a lady dragon. Okay, I actually think that looks really pretty. Just going to do the other side. The thing I have noticed though, with Lady Dragon, it is quite hard pressed. Whereas the other shimmers in the palette don't seem as hard pressed. So I don't know whether that's why it didn't work how I wanted it to. Okay, so that is Lady Dragon on. It's one of those shades, I think, doesn't really have like a, a definite pigment to it. It's one of those where it just adds a bit of shimmer, a bit of something else, but it's not too in your face. I actually quite like those shades. It reminds me of something out of my Urban Decay Naked Cyber palette, that kind of dewy, chromey, shimmery look but it's not overly pigmented, it's just kind of subtly pretty. So I'm now going to take a goldy kind of shade and do some inner corner highlight. And then, lastly, I want to take... I might mix these two together, waffles and on the edge, so the lighter and darker browns. Just go under my lash line. Okay, so I actually kind of like this eye look at the moment. Need to apply some mascara, so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the eye look with some mascara. I used my L'Oreal Pro XXL Volume Mascara, liking that one at the moment. Not my favourite, but it's okay, it does leave quite a lot of transfer. Um, the eye look, I actually really like. So I now need to apply the lipstick. I do have a lip gloss on already, which I'm just going to take off. So I have wiped off the lip gloss that I had on which was the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. So my lips are a bit more plumper than normal, so I am going to put that out there, just in case you watch any of my other videos and you think, wow, your lips look a bit different. That is why I have used a lip plumping gloss to plump my lips, so I'm hoping that means I will get a nice even result with a lipstick. So this is the Donkey lipstick, has very similar outer packaging to the eyeshadow palette, but the actual lipstick packaging itself is very different. It looks quite bougie, it looks quite expensive, but when you touch it, it actually feels very cheap and it's very sharp. Um, kind of looks nice. And I remember commenting to my husband that there's like pictures of donkeys, but they kind of reminded me of chickens. <laughs> um, you know, like plucked chickens ready to go in the oven. That's what the pictures on here <laughs> reminded me of. Um, reminded me a bit of like the Friends collection, where you had one of the lip glosses that had the picture of the chickens on it. So, just going to put that out there. But this is the lipstick shade. It does look very up my alley, I do have to say. Looks very beautiful. Doesn't really have much of a smell to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. Okay, so this is the lipstick on. It is a very, very creamy lipstick. Um, usually I prefer something a little more on the matte side, just because I find that those sort of lipsticks wear a little bit longer. 
even in bullet form if they are a bit more mattified they wear longer more creamier glossy satiny looking ones don't have the best sort of lasting power but it does look pretty i will give it that it does feel nice and moisturizing on the lips it does feel quite nourishing it doesn't feel horrible so i do like that about it the shade is very pretty i think it goes very well with the color story in the eyeshadow palette that whole neutral tone i'm really enjoying so yeah i do like this lipstick i do think it looks really really nice um i do think it's the type of lipstick though you're gonna have to be careful the formula i think is gonna get onto your teeth quite easily because it is that creamy formula i think as well if you're gonna have a drink you're gonna get it everywhere on the cup but a lot of lipsticks do that it's not really a downside i think the type of formula this is as well yes it's going to wear away quicker but it's going to be easier to reapply i don't think you would need to you know redo your whole lip look like you could just maybe give it a quick wipe then reapply and look as good as new whereas some lipsticks like the more mattified ones that i like you pretty much have to use a micellar water to get it off properly before reapplying otherwise you get like a weird caked on look whereas at least with these more glossy creamy lipsticks you don't get that um so yeah overall i am really happy with my makeup look today um i think my blush is a bit ott for the style of eye makeup i have gone for um but i did my blush very early on this morning and I had no eye makeup on, so I looked like a complete crazy clown this morning. But yeah, I really, really like this eyeshadow palette. I like the small cuteness to it. I like the shades that are in here. I think they go really well with Donkey, seeing as he is that kind of... I was going to say skin tone, but it's not, is it? Is it a fur tone? <laughs> Maybe? I think those shades go really, really well. I like the fact that you've got Lady Dragon. Yes, it's not like the most vibrant, in-your-face eyeshadow, but I like the subtleness, the subtleness to it. It's a really pretty eyeshadow. Um, I think I will be using this one quite a lot. I think on my more neutral days, I probably am going to gravitate towards this quite a bit. I do really like that. The lipstick... I wish the packaging didn't feel so cheap. Revolution do some really good packaging. They do some really good products. Not all of them feel that cheap. This feels just cheap. And I haven't even got false nails on to make that noise with. These are just my normal nails. And I feel it's the type of plastic packaging that I'm gonna break really easy. You know, using it, opening it, closing it, putting it back together, I can see cracks appearing very quickly it's that type of plasticky packaging but overall i like the shade of the lipstick um i think it looks really nice on suits the makeup i look very well so yeah overall i am very pleased with the revolution and shrek or shrek and revolution donkey collection I think they're really good. If you are a huge fan of Shrek, Donkey, and maybe Revolution, I think these products could be a winner for you. Yes, they're not the most vibrant, they're not the most out there, but if you are more on the neutral, toned down side of makeup, you like things to be more muted, I think this could be for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.